Government will expend an additional $17.6 million to pay all frontline public sector workers who have led the charge in the battle against the COVID-19 pandemic. Minister for Finance Honorable Gregory Bowen recently announced that all police officers, including medical personnel and ancillary workers in the Ministry of Health, who by virtue of their duties were exposed to the risk of COVID-19, will be rewarded. Frontline workers will receive one month's additional pay by December 17th. All other public officers will receive half month's pay. The persons who are getting full pay Will, will cost about uh, eight million dollars yeah the the half half month pay roughly uh, will be about 9.6 million yeah so 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 basically that that is that is the total for about 17 about 17 million there about um in terms of total cost now we we have to dig a little deeper in terms of who would qualify for the additional half month because we don't we don't know that at this stage this is something that that would that would sort of come out that would work once you come up come out with the criteria and um, what we hope to do is basically work with the ministries and departments in terms of getting that information permanent secretary in the ministry of finance mike sylvester he says the additional pay will not be taxed for those who are not at the tax threshold you would have persons now for example who do not quali they not they, they do not reach the threshold for paying taxes. All right? If you were to get the additional payment that will take you over the, the, the threshold in a particular month, um, you, you, would, you would not be you would not taxes will not be deducted from that from that additional um, that additional pay. Now if you're already paying taxes, you're already in the net, you you already um, taxes already being deducted from your, your, your regular salary. Um, then, of course, the salary will be deducted. Sorry, the taxes will be deducted. That's the PIT I'm referring to. Will be deducted from from that additional amount. Minister for Foreign Affairs, International Business, and Caricom Affairs, Honorable Oliver Joseph, says the payment does not hinge on one's employment status, but rather whether he or she worked on the front line. It is not based on your status of employment. So it is not whether whether you are a contract worker or a money worker. All workers. So if you're a frontline worker and you're on contract, you still get the month. If you if you are in the public service, not a frontline worker, but you are a Imani worker, you, are, you have a contract for service, you have a contract, a government of created a contract, you will qualify for the half month. So it has not to do with just the, the nature of your employment. What it has to do with your role in this pandemic.